This is once again Frank Thompson, your roving reporter. Um, but for a change, we're actually in Devonshire Tunnel. Um, it's Thursday, the uh, what's the date, anyone? Seventh. The uh, the seventh of April, and uh, Sustrans have given a special dispensation. Indeed. Um, for this uh, gentleman who's standing next to me, whose name is Graham Bickerdyke. Um, to actually come in and take um, some splendid um, pictures uh, of the tunnel. We'll wait till I get home before we regard them as splendid. But I'm, I'm sure they will be absolutely splendid. Um, so um, how's, it, um, how's the photography actually going then? It's been going great. Uh, we, we walked through and it's just so dark, there's so much soot. I thought it was going to be a real problem because um, you need sort of reflective light to help with the photography, but actually it's gone really well. We've been in, it's now 25 past two, we came in about 10 o'clock, so we've been in about four and a half hours. Another hour and a half should um, sort it out. But there's there's always more to, to photograph than you think in a tunnel. You know, there's always little nooks and crannies, dropping roots to fill, to photograph, bits of drainage. So yeah, plenty to see. Good, excellent. Um, and your site is www. Get the, uh, get the uh, plug in, <laughs> get shall the plug we? In. Yes, uh, Forgotten Relics is the name of the site www.forgottenrelics.co.uk. The pictures will be on the site 1st of May. Um, yeah. Right, good stuff, excellent. Thank you very much for that. And um, here are the other helpers. That's Mark. Everybody knows Mark. And this is Tom. Ron. Ron. Sorry, Ron. Ron uh, Lighting, Ron head, uh, of lighting. Ron head of lighting yeah. and uh, etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, fantastic! Thanks for that, chaps. And uh, we'll just kind of keep the camera rolling as we uh, as we wander out. Excellent. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the daylight. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Good stuff. See nice you. to see you. Yeah. See Cheers, everyone. Take care again. Cheers. All the best. Be good. Yeah. Mark has just found a frog Help! and is behaving as one does when one finds a frog. I should just leave him be. And uh, this is the hmm, to see with the ventilation shaft that uh, one can see from the outside. Just about see the stone. All in very good nick. But a bit sooty. Oh, the soot will be taken off. This is coming out the other end of the tunnel towards Lincoln Vale. And uh, bits of rubbish that uh, people used in their raves in the early 70s. Who knows, you might be one of those people that was here, I don't know. And uh, this is coming out of the door into the sunshine to Lincoln Vale. And some lovely sunshine and warmth. Can you get a signal there, Mark? No. Nope. Which uh, uh, network are you enough, on? Funny yes, enough, yes I can now. Um, and in front of the tunnel I can get a signal from three networks. You've got O2 on there? Uh, I think it was O2 Orange and Vodafone. That's useful to know. For future reference, Lincoln Vale, outside Devonshire Tunnel, you can get a phone signal, but not from inside. Outside in the sunshine again, roving reporter uh, clocking off. <laughs>